Hey, what's up gang? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hey, trust you guys are doing well. Hey guys, I wanted to do just a real quick video for you on the Xmark Laser ZX and a 500 hour slash first year with it review. Let's check it out. Alright guys, as most of you know on our channel, I love doing product comparison videos, unboxings, reviews on products, we do a lot of vlogging and also business mindset videos. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to the channel. Now on this video, I wanted to talk about the Xmark Laser ZX. Most of you guys know that this is my second year with the mower. Uh, right now we have just over probably five to 600 hours on the mower. In fact, if I can show you guys right here, you can probably see it says 205 hours. So a couple things I gotta talk about for sure. Number one, Xmark Laser ZX. This is the 34 horse Kohler engine. We got the 60 inch deck. It is the Ultra Cut 6 series deck. This is the one with the EFI and the Red Tech. Overall, I have been absolutely in love with this mower. I have tried a lot of lawnmowers out, the E series, the S series, the X. Guys, nothing uh, has compared so far to the capacity of this mower to cut grass. To be honest with you guys, we're cutting 25, 30, 35 lawns a day, no problem. My record so far is now 60 freaking lawns in a day. So I challenge you guys to let me know if any other mower that's going to keep up with the amount of volume of lawns you're going to be cutting that this Xmark Laser ZX can cut. On average, we're doing about 30 lawns a day, just Cliff Notes version, all right? So let me talk to you guys a few things that I like, a few things that are a black eye, unfortunately, about my experience, and uh, we'll just kind of get into it, okay? Again, my goal is to keep this review kind of short. My other one was pretty lengthy. I'll try to leave a card for it from uh, last year. So short story long, we got this one last spring, April 4th in 2016. Uh, I paid right around $12.5 for it. I don't mind telling you guys some of the numbers. It's pretty public knowledge if you guys go shopping for one of these. Uh, we bought uh, this with the stand on aerator, so we got the fleet pricing on both, which uh, don't quote me, but it saves you 12 or 15%. So uh, if you guys are going to upgrade in the future, uh, they are definitely some pricey uh, uh, lawnmowers and equipment, but if you decide to buy two units and get that fleet, it has uh, a pretty significant saving, so that's what I did. Uh, this one right here on the first hour meter that you saw, it says 200 hours. Well, the reason being is that uh, I was having some major issues with my seat the last two and a half months. So basically the internal seat sensor, the one that clicks on and off that says that you're sitting into it, kind of like the safety, uh, it was having some issues with how it was reading and um, communicating to the control module. So basically after uh, some replacements under warranty from the dealer and then also getting on the phone with Xmark, uh, we had to warranty a couple different things out. One being the hour meter, they wanted to do the electronics, and then they also wanted to replace the seat switch sensor, which they did. And after all of that being said, we finally switched out the seat. So one thing that I'm extremely thankful for is that the whole mower had the two year commercial warranty. Uh, because this whole seat sensor and the seat itself was like a $700 repair. Uh, so that is a huge black eye because I'll be honest with you guys, uh, I've only had my mower the last eight weeks, probably three of the weeks out of the last eight because I was using a loaner or a demo. Now, I will tell you this, Weingarts absolutely took care of me uh, above and beyond. Uh, those guys up there, class act, I'm telling you like a friend, dealer support is everything when you're buying a mower. Number two, uh, Xmark really took care of me, not because we have a good YouTube channel or anything like that, so I know you guys are ready to type the comments, right? Uh, Xmark has great customer service, man. There's just some companies that uh, you can get a hold of and they'll talk to you. I had people calling me, calling my dealer, really trying to resolve the problem, and I'm really thankful for that as well. But nonetheless, uh, it is still a black eye on the mower with the seat sensor switch because a few guys in the industry and the business have also told me that theirs have acted up in the past as well. So something to keep an eye on is uh, if you keep seeing the mower turn on and off and there aren't really any lights turning on on the mower or anything else you can diagnose, probably the seat switch sensor. Beyond that, uh, just some of the other highlights for you guys. The spindles have been working great. The pulleys uh, have been fine. I haven't had anything burn out. The clutch has been strong as well. Uh, the fuel efficiency is definitely there, guys. I'm telling you like a friend, my, my biggest day, we were cutting 60 freaking lawns, and I think I went through a tank of gas. That's all residentials. That's, I don't know, like a nine gallon gas tank, something like that, whatever it is. 
but I, we might have filled up the gas tank halfway through the day, I can't really remember, but I can get usually two days or 60 lawns or maybe eight hours of run time on this mower, uh, no problem. I don't know the gallons per hour and all that jazz. Uh, I'm sure there's some spec sheet on all that. You guys can check it out. I guess at the end of the day, I just wanted to give you guys a, a stamp of approval. Right now, on that hour meter, I've got 200 hours. Last year, we had just over 400 on it, I think, before uh, it got changed out. So right now, we're at 600 hours. By the end of the season, I'll probably wrap up maybe, I don't know, 8, 850. Uh, I gotta do a hydro oil change here at 750. We already did the first one at 250. You want to do that about every 500 hours. Um, but besides that, guys, man, it's just been an absolute beast of a mower. Again, I like the E-Series. It's a great mower, 25 horse, 60 inch deck for like 9 Gs. You can't really beat that. Good entry lawnmower. But if you're looking for volume and that uh, larger engine with the uh, turbo button, I call it, to rev those RPMs higher, with that eGov, you don't have the droop. Uh, the tires, I'm probably going through a set of tires every 300 hours, plus or minus. This is probably my third set right now. Um, but then again, I'm also going on and off the uh, trailer a lot and doing residential, so I'm on the pavement a lot more than most of you guys. Probably doing commercial stuff and uh, you know apartment complexes and wide open fields and common areas. I do the oil change every 100 hours on the big block. Uh, what else can I give you guys? Yeah, so overall just really good mower. No complaints with it so far. I would never change to another brand. I know we're going to be doing some comparison videos with Skag. Uh, they already know. I already put them on notice that I'm not changing brands. So I'm excited about doing some comparison videos for you guys side by side and let you know how the uh, Xmark and the Skag both hold up uh, head to head. But overall, guys, great lawnmower. I'm super impressed with it. I know a lot of you guys, man, have been uh, hitting me up on email and Instagram and direct messages with uh, the Turf Tracer and the Laser ZX and the E-Series and the S-Series which one's which. Hey, if you have questions, man, for real, shoot me an email or uh, an Instagram text. I'll, I'll get back to you. Sometimes it takes me a few minutes or a few days just because I don't see it come through or I'm busy running around running my business in real life just like you guys are. Anyway, guys, the Xmark Laser ZX with the red tech. Let me know what you guys think down below. Shoot a comment. Do you guys have one of these mowers? Do you guys like yours? Are you planning to throw down and get one maybe here in 2017 or next spring 2018? Guys, Xmark Laser ZX with the red tech. That's where it's at. If you guys have any questions or comments shoot them down below that's pretty much it guys all right signing off if you're new don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like this one give it a big thumbs up guys and as always if you have any questions shoot me a comment on instagram or an email and i'll definitely get back with you all right guys that's it thanks so much for watching brian here brian's law maintenance you guys take care Bye bye